Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. Welcome back to another educational video of WikiHow. Today's video is How to be a Nerf Medic. Medics are what keep a team alive in a Nerf war. Having one or two of these is a tremendous help in keeping your team fit for battle. Here are some tips for being a good medic. So they're referring to the medic as a game mechanic, not someone actually certified in first aid. Usually this is a player that can revive you on the field, tag you, and you're back in. This can make for a special role, or actually an entire game altogether. Now this article currently has a 95% approval rating from 24 votes, and with over 10,000 views, it might just be a useful source of information. Because after all, Rami Rami here said uh, about a year ago, it helps me great, thanks WikiHow. Well then, time to tape a giant target, I mean cross, on your chest that won't anger the Red Cross. Thanks for reminding me of that, JLo. This is how to be a nerf medic, according to WikiHow. Number one, pick a primary weapon. This should be a small weapon, like the recon with no barrel extension or the firefly. Make sure that you can run at a good pace with it and that it doesn't get in the way of your hands when you're reviving someone. I have no idea what WikiHow's revive system is here, so let's just assume it's the quick one-hand touch. And if that's the case, then who cares what you're using, because most loadouts don't have your non-dominant hand glued to your blaster. That's usually why you'll see rules for medics to have blaster limitations, because they have the power to take lives and save lives. Number two, pick a secondary weapon. Your secondary is a backup for when you need to shoot one-handed while reviving someone. This weapon should be one you're comfortable with. Be careful, WikiHow. There are many blasters out there that can be shot one-handed. Comfort is optional. Number three, make a medical kit. Wait, I thought this wasn't for a real medic. This really only needs to be some chewable candy to revive someone. Have some water and band-aids, etc. in your bag too, in case someone actually gets hurt for real. Oh boy. And there it is, the Nerf Med Kit. It's just some chewable candy. Oh. Oh. Medic! I need a medic! I'm down. Medic! Tag me. Come on, tag me. No. What do you want? Reese's? I, I want you to tag me. Reese's. Would you tag my hand? Tag my hand. Swedish fish. I don't want Swedish fish. I want you to tag me back in. Uh, Quit offering me candy. I don't need snacks. Okay, okay. I need gum? No gum. Tag me. No gum. Would you trig me back I have in got, already? Like, band-aids too, Look, man. I'm gonna hurt you if you don't tag me in. Tag my hand. Right here. My hand. Right here. Alright. You no. seem like a peanut butter kind of guy. Whatever. Number four. Get in shape. A medic needs to be able to run to a downed teammate quickly, and then needs to be able to get out quick as well. Make sure you can move fast over and around obstacles. Hey, wait a minute, I recognize this silhouette. This is what Tybeck used for that logo of me with the beret, the Saxby Z, and the Sledgefire. All right, but actually on topic, we've actually tackled before getting into shape with WikiHow's very own How to Train Your Body for Nerf. If you've seen that, then you should already be an expert on moving fast over and around obstacles. Number five, practice dodging darts while moving. Because you'll be running 50% of the time as a medic, that means 50% of the darts that will be coming at you will be when you're running. If you can dodge darts when running, this means sprints are less dangerous. Where are those statistics coming from? You know what? I don't know. I don't care. Yes, if you can dodge darts while you're running, life will get easier. Number six, be able to revive people quickly. Get a system down where you can revive them in under 10 seconds. Having your pistol out while reviving also helps, so you can fend off enemies who want to take you down. T uh, hello, you still haven't clarified what the revive system is here, so I'm still just going to imagine it's the one-hand tag, or maybe it is giving someone candy. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, 
I, I don't really do chocolate, I guess. Number seven, try not to get downed yourself. If you get downed, then the other medic on your team will have to revive you, or your team will be without a medic. Don't get involved in heavy conflict without having some more troops with you. Yeah, if you're the team medic, it definitely pays to hang back a little bit because your role is pretty crucial, especially if you're the only one. And usually I've seen that we've had special rules for medics, so if they get down, they might have to go and respawn on their own, or maybe they don't get to come back. So be careful. What do you mean you don't have Skittles or gummies? Gummies, man! And that's the article, but which brings us to the very important community Q&A. Should I make a pause flag so no one will shoot me or the downed person if they are really hurt? Yeah, that's a great idea. You could also just yell out that someone is hurt if you don't want to make the flag. The dangers of having your nerf medic try to fill the role of a real medic. This would be the time to yell hold, or if your group has a pre-established code word for like a real world injury, that would be more appropriate. How do you do first aid? Just give the down player some chewable candy or some chocolate to revive them. I don't know if you're talking to a nerf medic or a real medic, but please don't be the real medic because 18 people said this was helpful. And according to this article, the nerf medic only has band-aids. So I don't know what that's gonna do if someone gets like impaled. <laughs> Where can I find guns like the Recon? You can get a Retaliator at Target. Ooh, there you go, educate the masses. What should I do if the person is really badly hurt? Call for a moderator of the current nerf event to pause it and get the injured person medical attention. Refer to my earlier comment, but yes, just don't call over the nerf medic, please. What, what else do you I got? have gum. Uh, I, I, I had gum earlier. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a piece. Uh, anything you want. Unanswered questions. What buffs should they get when they are revived? What? None. Can I use Nerf Blaster to revive Lizard that fell off sandbags? Would it be better to revive teammates by giving them candy or better, chocolate, or run and high five them so they are back in the game? You know, it sounded dumb at first, but I'm starting to think if someone ran up to me and offered me chocolate and said, eat this to be revived, I wouldn't actually mind. I may actually start taking more hits for the team. Can a medic use a tri-strike with no attachments and a stripe as a secondary? Sure, I don't care. Tips, you should have two medics just in case one medic gets hurt. Try not to make it too obvious to the other team that you are the medic. This will draw attention and make you a target for assassins and snipers. Yeah, or a target to literally anyone on the other team, but there's a good chance that you will have to distinguish yourself, so. Good luck. Make sure you have plenty of vitamins in a pouch that you can get to easily. These are the most important part of being a medic. Freaking Nerf Medic. Swedish fish, great. Okay, uh, Put the whole back, man. I need to revive other people. Okay, okay. all right. Well, can I just get some, yeah. please? There's like five guys over No, there. yeah, I know. Okay, just pull out your hands. All right. Okay. There you go, three fish. All right, um, ah, no. You good? Yeah, okay, I'm good. All right. Wear a bulletproof vest, dart tag vest. It will keep you alive longer. No, it won't, but I also enjoy that scene from The Great Office War. Good reference. Warnings, wear eye protection. Getting hit in the eye will hurt. 
Best advice, make sure a responsible adult knows where you are at all times and can communicate with you on short notice. Ha, joke's on you. I'm already a responsible adult. Okay. And that was how to be a nerf medic, and it was... Uh, medics can certainly be a useful game mechanic for all sorts of games. But please, 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 do not overlap your nerf medic and your real medic, because candy can only solve problems temporarily. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you later.